Okay, so here we are, already at Brands Hatch GP. Um, after just a week uh, from Rockingham, we have two races on the bounce here, so it's been a very quick turnaround um, for the team and a fantastic job they've done. They had uh, a fair amount of body work to do to, to mine and Tom's car, but uh, they turned it around very, very quickly. In fact, by the time I got there, 8.30 uh, Monday morning, they already had a lot of the panels cut off the cars and uh, a new ones going back on, so a big thank you for, for their hard push. But been here all day today, um, having a look around. I was kind of hoping it would it would be wet today. It's a circuit I'm fairly unfamiliar in in the wet, um, not overly familiar in the dry. If I'm honest, I've only been here um, twice before. I think in 2004 and, and obviously the race at the end of the year last year. Um, so I was hoping to, to for it to be wet today, so I could go around the circuit, have a little watch of the other formulas, especially the Clio's, as, as they're quite relevant and see if I could pick out any wet lines or where the water lies or just any little information that's, that's going to help us because it, it really does look like we're in for a wet weekend. It's, it's been quite a wet start to the year really. We've had uh, no solidly dry weekends but um, whatever happens we're, we're pretty confident we'll be quick. We've made a few changes um, to the car from, from Rockingham from what we've learned and we, and we believe they should uh, should help us with our race pace especially as you might have noticed we're quite hard on the tyres in, in the racing and um, we were able to put it quite high up on the grid and then we, we the times were good in, in the race but towards the end definitely dropped off a lot um, so we've been trying to address that and we think we, we have a cure for it and I think this also this will carry over to the wet as well the wets it's a similar situation you can push too hard on the wets too early and uh, you can really wear the tread away overheat them and you can struggle at the end of the race. I know um, from my wet experience in, in the Vectra um, two years ago that it was it was often the case the car was very good in the wet but quite hard on its tyres so you really had to manage your pace so wouldn't be surprised to see that happening quite a lot. You see people maybe shoot off at the start of the races uh, if they are wet and if they're dry too and then try, tend to fall back a little bit um, as it goes. Also the track is very tight so big, big um, chance of safety cars this weekend. So you've got to bear that in mind as well. You don't want to push too soon, break away, use your tyres, get a gap and then have that taken away by the safety car. So lots of things to, to think about around here. It should be a great weekend. Obviously the finale last year, I watched it back earlier today just to see if I could pick up anything from that. And uh, it proved for some great racing. So should be exciting. Hopefully everything goes to plan and uh, we'll be sitting 1-2 this time tomorrow.